Hello. I didn't even want to stream today. You want to know why? Because I just want to theory craft. <laughs> like, I don't want to play the game. I just want to POV. <laughs> It takes me a long time to like think of like the build, you know what I mean? TLDR chat, TLDR. The totem build is insane, but I don't know what the best version of the build is. I, 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 I really, I'm struggling to figure it out. All right, chat, you have to pick an ascendancy and I don't know which one to pick. This is a brand new build. Nobody knows which ascendancy to play. Pathfinder does seem to be the better build. What if we just pretend we're not playing Vizefinder, but we focus on the fact that I'm playing a really cool totem build? Mm, you know what I'm saying, though? Mm. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, poggers. Let's just do it, YOLO. I don't even know how we're gonna level. Let's go, dude. Alright, so, basically, the way this build works is a totem explodes, blows stuff up, and does damage. I don't know how we're gonna scale it though. All right, legendary. All right, it's already begun. Let's go, dude. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid already. In terms of scaling, it's a bit weird. You basically want to throw as many ballistas out as possible. And you want to scale uh, your physical damage. But the thing is, it's not a spell or an attack or anything like that. Oh my god, what the f Oh my god. It's, it's very clunky when you can't throw out the amount of traps required to detonate it instantly. What item enables this build? The Crucible Tree. This mod right here. Totems explode. This might be the dumbest shit I've ever seen. What, this build? <laughs> it's so Stupid <laughs> Oh shit. I think the key is going to be support gems to make the totems explode by the looks of it. Oh, this is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> if you if you guys don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on. This is the dumbest thing. I I love that if the numbers are correct in POB, this might be one of the highest DPS builds in the entire game, which is hilarious to me. That, that to me is what's funny. Oh. I think the real question about this build is will Quinn claim he had the idea for it yesterday? <laughs> yeah, so if you're not sure what's happening, I'm throwing traps which summon totems. And then when the totems die, they go boop. Do you have a pav? I do not have a pav. I actually have no f clue what I'm doing. Wait, I just... Okay, we need to POB. Oh my god. Okay, hold up. What if we POB the crit multi mod with the multi totem mod with the bat explode mod? Can you get all three or no? Because if you can get all three, then that is literally f god tier. What tier is the crit multi mod? I don't know. I didn't even know it existed. I just hold the phone. So, totem explode. So that's tier 3 and tier 4. I assume this has to be tier 3, tier 4. Okay, so explode and placement is tier 3. I think they're all tier 3, tier f Oh, because Chris- I'm stupid. I am stupid. This is good though. This is a good thing I'm stupid. So it's 2, 3, 4. Oh my god. Oh my god. I- so wait, hold the phone. Multi-totem? Crit? Explode. That, that stuff, or bow, I assume you can get it on both, right? Is basically, oh my god. Someone said your base crit is zero, correct. But, instead of increasing your base crit, you have this unique situation. Here's basically the strat. Brittle, sorry, um, leadership's price and assassin's mark. Because they both give enemies chance to be crit. Which scales off of your crit chance, like your global crit chance, right? And so you then literally are a zero crit build that has crit cap. That's that's basically the idea. How insane is that, chat? Oh, this build is, is so exciting. The DPS. These are the only damage nodes on my build, chat. And they don't even really do anything. 
<laughs> Yo, new player should play this. Just play this shit. Man, uh, I'm I'm starting to doubt if Pathfinder's the play. It feels incredible. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead for sure. I'm dead. I died. <laughs> Stupid phrase box. <laughs> no. Die. I I click phrase boxes in softcore. I can't not. I don't know. I'm just. I, I just click the box, man. I think we get to maps, and then. I get some food and we just chill and hang out and theorycraft it. Limpin says DDPS, what is going on? Is your build as bad as he is describing? Okay. Limpin was literally crying on Discord because Nilky said that he was sick and he might not be able to play with him anymore. Okay. This is the man calling me ZDPS. He literally can't play without a support. He's also sitting in jail. Wait, what do you mean sitting in jail? When you say jail... Oh my f god. <laughs> you got arrested? You're, you're f an idiot, Limpin. What did you do? How drunk did you- What did you do? My mod. I told a cop, cop to suck my dick. Like if, if Pathfinder, so if Poison is Biss, then Pathfinder is Biss, essentially. I think we can agree on that at least. I, I can't imagine a Poison Ascendancy stronger than Pathfinder right now. It solves your clear, which is a massive problem with this build. And it gives you the Giga Wither, which is actually very valuable in this build because you actually are proccing 30 hits a second. I mean, there, there is a universe where Pathfinder is best in slot, just because Poison might be best in slot. Another Poison build. Well, I, I, I just want to make the strongest possible version of the build, Sodi. And the pos strongest possible version of the build doesn't mean highest DPS. Because if we wanted the highest DPS build, you would just play like assassin trap build or some shit, right? It's not- uh, damage is not everything, right? Like you- you want, um... Recovery... Uh, you know, survivability, avoidance, mobility... Because the, the Chieftain version with 500 million has damage. And it has recovery, but it sacrifices suppression. It sacrifices armor, evasion. It, essentially, you're 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 a full gloss cannon. This is what we need to theorycraft. We need to theorycraft what on the left hand side of the tree is so good. And I think the, I think there's only one thing on the left hand side of the tree that really matters. And you can get that on the south side of the tree, and you can also get it through anoint and impossible escape. Because I can't be the only one thinking, is this a build I should try? I mean, it looks like the answer is yes, but I need to theorycraft it. Alright, there we go. Alright. I'm just gonna eat food chat and make me P.O.B. Legendary P.O.B. stream. This is from the uh, Path of Exile subreddit. This is just a base. Ignore the fact that it's level 102. Ignore that. But this is like a base with calculations that we can use to theorycraft. Is it doesn't scale with spell damage or cast speed. It can scale with cast speed, but not spell damage. Minion damage? Yeah, see, I think minion damage is great. You, you see, mi the spiritual aid becomes 40% damage multiplier for three, four, five, five points. Should I show you guys a video of the build? Like of an end game version of the build? Now the interesting thing about this version of the build is he's only got about 30 to 50 million which means he can get 10 times more damage Yeah, I don't think this build will ever be a great mapping build You're playing, you're playing a trap build, right? The ignite version has good clear I, I, I feel like while you could do ignite it just doesn't make sense because you're scaling so many hits per second yeah, that is one of the major limitations of the build. You can't link damage to porch. Which is why things like cluster traps, multi-trap, multi-totem end up being damage multipliers. Because you get more hits, and more hits is more damage, right? It kind of double dips as well, which is why it's particularly broken. Because as far as I'm aware, your devouring totem doing 50% less damage doesn't matter, right? Because if your totem does 50% less damage, 
it doesn't matter because it still explodes for the same amount of health HP and then it scales off your damage. Can you explain a bit how you can deterministically craft non-unique crucible trees? Sure. That's actually relevant to what we're about to start talking about because the tree for the build is very important. So, um, I think Void explained it to me and I'll do my best to talk about what he talked about. But the way it works, so you can have up to five tiers of mods. Although for the most part, it seems like you mostly focus on the four because the fifth one seems to be special. So we'll just look at these four for now. So. Let's say you have a staff, you have a flask effect staff, right? And you want to add more mods, right? Now you need to add tier 1, 2, and 3 modifiers to the staff. And so you start with this stuff here, fully revealed, right? You level it up, you get this mod, and then what you do, right? Now you want to start with a blue staff, but you, um, you start with a staff like this, and then you imprint it while it's blue, and then you take another staff, with the tier 3 mod, you level- uh, do, do you bother leveling the second one to 3? I guess you do, right? Because the whole point is you're not leveling the mod on the fourth one. And so you're more likely to keep the fourth mod, and then you're gambling on the third mod. Is that right? Yeah? Yeah. And so this is basically what you do if you want to craft a crucible tree. Now this is very expensive, mind you. This is only if you're trying to make a perfect base. So you start with, um, the right most mod leveled, and then you smash the mod adjacent and then you pray but this also needs to be leveled and so you're most likely going to preserve in this case the flask mod this has a really high chance to preserve because you've leveled it right and crucible trees preserve a leveled mod when you're smashing them more often than not well yeah let's say you try to smash this stuff with this stuff you would level this to four and this one to three and you would stop at three and then you smash it now this one, because it's the fourth most one, or the mo most right one, is the one you want to imprint. Th you imprint it back if it fails. Now, let's say it succeeds, right? You recombinate it, right? And it recombinates this mod and this mod. If it doesn't, you can just go back and imprint it, which is why you imprint it. But if it does succeed, now you're trying to target this mod. Yeah? The reason this is relevant, chat, is if we're trying- let's say, for example, right? Let let's, th let's look at this logically, right? So I'll, I'll go step by step. So we've identified three mods that we want on our ending game bow slash staff. So explodey, totem, bow, or staff. I don't know which base we're going to go with yet, but the first mod we want is in the fourth tier. And it can either be totem explode, or we want crit multi, totem explode, oh and multi totem. So these are the three mods we want. Third tier. So let's say, let's say for, let's just, let's just say we had this mod, right? And then the third tier, and then the fourth, the second tier has to roll the crit multi. So if we wanted to create this weapon, right? This crucible weapon, what we're gonna need to do, right? Is we're gonna need to get a base with either totem or multi in the fourth tier. Let's pretend we got totem explode, right? We're gonna start with totem explode. To be fair, I think it would start with totem explode, realistically. Then we're gonna combine it. We'll just call it recombinate. Recombinate with third tier. Uh, multi-totem. So you would imprint, recombinate with this, and pray. Now if this fails, now you have this base. And now you're doing the exact same thing, except you're recombinating, you're imprinting, and then you're going to recombinate with the crit multi-mod in the second tier. Pray and then repeat. And then you're done. By the way, I just realized... Oh my god. I just realized something interesting, by the way. Guess what, guys? This mod exists. So technically speaking, you want to keep doing this. So once you have got this stuff, technically speaking, you want to imprint it and recombinate first tier plus one strength gems. So if you get this weapon, you basically have a mirror tier uh, base. Like this is like, like think about how much power this is for the build, right? You get plus one to strength gems, which means empower becomes higher level, and so does the varying totem. And then you also get 100% global crit multi. So with the with the with the new weapon that we're gonna make, chat, it's literally a billion DPS. Literally, actually, yo, where's limping now? <laughs> yeah, look limping. If we can manage to make this stuff, which I don't, to be fair, I don't think you ever will. 
He's in jail, right? But you can you can see why I'm excited about this build, right? Okay, so how can I change the variables to emulate an endgame character? Well, let's change our base damage to be the equivalent because we said 15,000 totem life. So this is the maximum amount of totem life I'm gonna get. Wait, wait, 15,000 times six. Oh, so this is 40,000. I'm an idiot. And then we can increase the amount of traps thrown. So without changing, so all I would need to get this level of damage would be my... Oh wow, okay. I'm starting to see what's happening here. So is this saying 20 million DPS with just trap throw speed and totem life increasing? That's, like that's without changing my actual like damage on my gear at all. That's without despair even. Okay, so this this is probably gonna hit dot cap pretty easy. Looks like this is with a gold rim. <laughs> so the gold rim. And then I guess you might as well just abuse the same tech that you do on the flask finder, right? Like, is there any reason, chat, to not build this effectively the same as my impending doom build, except I use assonets instead of vixens? I mean, maybe I don't have to use assonets. I probably don't, but it's just kind of nice because the temp change is automatically applied then. Oh my god, because I didn't have a flask activated, I was missing 20% more damage. Uh, I don't even have to- seriously, chat, you don't even have to try. Well done, my Mainsuke, you Uber. I'm already at Uber cap. This is Ubers. Jiggling. This is Ubers already. <laughs> What's your poison chance, though? Yeah, let, let's get 100% oh, poison so cap big. without, like, cheating. Okay, let's put 99% less damage in against a regular boss, and we'll just time- Our damage is 100 times higher, basically. I, I think the easiest answer, chat, is Ashes. Like, honestly, Ashes. Oh my... Oh my! <laughs> what the fu- Yo! How- Ha! Huh. You know, I think I do. <laughs> Quinn was right about that a few minutes ago. Where's the fun playing if you're literally immortal? Well, the fun, right? The fun of playing immortal is if no one else is immortal. Because everyone else sucks. Because I guarantee you, not everybody is immortal. In fact, Basically, just like me. That's the that's the fun of it, right? Anyway, chat. We have a new build project, but I'm gonna head off. Uh, I'll link the PUB again in chat. Anyway, she's been hanging out, chat. That looks so funny in the preview. <laughs> that looks so. What the? F oh shit.